guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for my baby thrift haul. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my thrifting journey. All right. So today I went to the Goodwill outlet and if you haven't been there before, it's where everything is just laid out in bins and priced by the pound. My Goodwill outlet in Iowa is $1.59 per pound. So depending on the item, for instance, baby clothes, super lightweight, super cheap. But for example, I got a puzzle today, didn't think it through all the way. That was a little heavier, so that weighed down more. Probably would have been just cheaper to get it at a garage sale or honestly a Goodwill store where it would have probably been $1.99, but here it probably weighed a bit more than a pound. So anyway, let's dive into what I got. Okay, first up is this, a few soft books. This one is just a little baby book. Will be good for the early stages, I think. Um, and this, super lightweight. So if it's a dollar fifty nine a pound, this probably was like 20 cents. All right, another soft kind of fold out book I got is this one and it's just all about love and it folds out really wide um has some lift the flap pieces so that's good for interaction um again super super lightweight which makes it really cheap at the outlet next is something I don't know if this was worth it to get it or not I should actually put it on my scale to see but I've been in need um, in my prepping of at least two for my husband and I's cars these baby mirrors so I got this one it's the Bricka and it has this light on it I'll have to put in new batteries to see if the light works I looked it up online and it is supposed to have a remote that goes with it. So if you're the parent driving, then you could put the light on. But honestly, even if it doesn't have the remote, um, that's still fine. It'll still function as a mirror, which is what I needed. It also has this piece um, on the back that helps you angle um, how it sits on the back of the headrest, which is something I hadn't thought about. But one of my family members who has some little ones right now mentioned that that's a really good feature to look for. So I was happy about that find, uh, especially because this retails for $32 brand new. <laughs> okay. Up next is this just little plush play cube and it does make noises. So because it still, I could tell it still worked, um, I was pretty happy about that find. <laughs> All right, and next, this is the puzzle I mentioned. It weighs a little bit more, so maybe I shouldn't have gotten this because it did add up my total pounds, but it's a spelling puzzle. And I don't know if it has all of the pieces in it, but when I looked, I could still tell that they were pieces put together making the words. So when I see something like that, it's a good indicator to me that it was taken care of and it looks like the pieces didn't all fall out um, being at the outlet, which can often happen. I was a little bummed because I had found a big floor puzzle that was the map of the United States and it said it was supposed to have 51 pieces but I counted through it twice only got to 50 so um, I'm hoping this has all the pieces it looks like it, it has definitely still enough to make it worth it though and this one too it says it's for ages four to seven years which <laughs> my baby's due in three months so I'm not to that stage yet but I just like planning ahead especially for the educational activities Okay, up next is I got my second baby mirror. So happy about that. It does have some scratches on it already. The other one did as well, 
but I don't think that'll affect the functionality of it at all. Okay, another little cute thing that I got because I know that this weighs nothing, so it probably only was 10 cents of my total. <laughs> And also because I do photography on the side, so I'm really into thinking through what photo shoots I'll be able to do with my daughter, was this little birthday hat. It's just the tiniest, tiniest little birthday hat. I don't know if you can tell for size comparison. That's my hand. That's how small it is. It's about the size of my thumb. So yeah, that's just something little that I'll hang on to use it for the first birthday and then I can toss <laughs> or redonate. Not baby related, but something I like to pick up at the outlet because it's again really lightweight um, are some gift bags. So planning ahead for the holidays, this was a pack of two. And again, this is something I know my child won't be able to use for quite some time but i had these growing up so i just got them out of nostalgia so let me know in the comments below if you played with these as a kid it's just kind of these little wax colored wax strips that you can bend around to make shapes i remember that was always one of my like quiet activities um because it's pretty low i mean it's low mess they're just waxy so you have to wash your hands after it, but low mess and can keep a kid entertained for a while. <laughs> All right. I also got some yellow and black streamers, not for the baby, but my husband is a huge Hawkeye, Iowa Hawkeye fan. So I'm gonna use those for his birthday this year. I know they only cost a dollar at the Dollar Tree, but when I can help keep items out of the landfill, I'm going to choose to do that rather than buying new. And again, this doesn't even weigh a pound, so I'm sure it was far less than a dollar. Okay. Now we're into some of the baby clothing I got. And first up, like I mentioned, I really love photography. And sorry, don't mind my cat in the background there. Um, so I saw this little, um, baby headband, um, so I'll just be sure to disinfect that before we use it, but I, th and it's not comfortable, I can tell that, but it'll be good for just one quick, one quick newborn photo. And then hopefully I'll be able to use it with my other clients moving forward. All right. So now I'm going to get into some of the clothes that I got. And if you haven't already, check out my other Goodwill outlet thrift haul where I got 132 items for $23. That was all primarily newborn, zero to three, three to six month clothing. So this time on, I was on a mission to get a few more of the bigger sizes especially if she grows quickly that way I'm prepared and also I just wanted to see how much I could get um at the outlet before garage sale season started because last time it averaged out to about 17 cents per item whereas at garage sales I know it's more like 50 cents to a dollar um which is still a great price especially compared to new but here's a few things I got all right one is this Disney um little sweatshirt this is 12 month still in really good condition so right planning a little bit ahead but was just excited for that find here's a carter's nine month onesie uh six to nine month little halloween pants I will say I love all the little holiday decorations or the holiday um, themed ones. These are three to six month pants with little feet on them. I did also get these two little bows. Also, yes, my cat loves the baby changing pad that we got. So I already know we're going to have to wash that again before she gets here. 
This is a 24 month onesie. Um, that's a lot of planning ahead, but I think it doesn't hurt to just create a tub of items that are 12 months and up that I'll just bring out and resort once we're through all the items that are in the dresser for kind of zero to 12 months. All right, here's a six month onesie. It's cute, white with red polka dots would probably be perfect for Valentine's Day. I also found these cute um, monkey pants that match this monkey shirt. Um, it's, a, it's always a fun time when you can find actually a matching set of items at the outlet. <laughs> and I have got a lot of, you know, pink girly baby items because that's primarily what I've been able to thrift so far. But I am into more of the gender neutral items like this too especially if you can just put um you know just put a white bow and that'll make it a little bit more girly here's a nine month onesie with a bunch of little purple flowers purple is my favorite color it's what we painted the nursery so i'm really hoping to find more purple baby girl items rather than just all pink 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 but let me know if you have any good tips or good online shops that are cheap to look for some of those maybe more special items. This is a 24 month pajamas. Again, planning ahead, but it was purple, so I was happy. This is an H&M um, little onesie. Interesting thing about this one is that it's four to six month, which I haven't seen written on a tag before. I also got a sleep sack. So this one just says one size and it has the nice um, part of the sleeve where it makes it into mittens and it has just the cinched bottom. Another Disney onesie, six to nine month, Snow White. All right, we have a six to nine month jammies. And also some zero to three months. I just kind of passed these up because I liked the ruffles at the bottom. Pants. And 12 month, just plain onesie. I have struggled to find just plain onesies, especially that will just match with neutral colored pants if I'm able to find those. I have right now a lot of patterned items for both which might make it hard to match down the line. So now I'm trying to limit to myself to a few more solid items. Um, a capsule wardrobe, if you will, <laughs> that can easily pair with each other. These are three to six month little joggers. Okay, nine month purple pants. I thought this onesie was just adorable. It's six month, just a little bird detail on it. Oh, I got a little floral bib. I did get a lot of bibs um, just given to me free by somebody on Facebook. I really like my local Buy Nothing pages. If you have one, um, just search Buy Nothing and then that's your city name see if you have one in your area. It's a great way to find other um, locals in your community that are just get, looking to get rid of items. They don't care about taking the time to try to sell it. They just want it out of their house. And so far I have been willing to take a lot of stuff <laughs> um, off people's hands. And I think they just appreciate the convenience of not driving to Goodwill to donate it. And I appreciate the convenience of it being free. <laughs> All right. Here are some nine month little denim shorts. These might not quite line up with when my daughter would be in spring summer items, but I just thought they were cute. And because I know that they're so cheap from the outlet, I didn't want to pass them up. Okay, here's a little zero to three month sweater. It'll be summertime here, but I know I've read a lot that um, baby's usually dressed in, you know, one more layer than you. So I just want to be prepared with a few warmer items for the zero to three month stage. 
Here's another sleep sack, and I just thought this one with the pattern, the floral pattern, was adorable. And again, I love that it has the built-in um, covered hand so she can't scratch her face that night. Here's a nine-month little zip-up jacket. Again, glad that it's neutral. And nine-month onesie. Now that I realize it, these pair together perfectly. Okay, we have another little pink six to nine month onesie. So I'm pretty proud of my haul so far for how many items I actually got of the six plus month sizes that I was going for. You never know what you're going to find at the outlet or at any Goodwill or thrift store for that matter. But today, even though I didn't get that many clothing items, I did get the sizes I needed, so I'd consider that a success. And just a few more. So six to nine month Cat and Jack little striped piece. A little sleeper. This one's three to six month. But I thought it looked a little bigger. I do have quite the little problem of trying to tell sizes, just eyeing them. I never can tell which one is a three month, six month, nine month or even 12 plus months. Sometimes they all look the same to me. Okay, I also got, thinking ahead, this were this is brand new mittens, and this is the 3M brand igloos. Um, so I know these wouldn't be used for, for quite, a, quite a while, but I know that kids lose these items very often. Or, you know, they just get destroyed and you need multiple pairs, one for daycare, one for home. So I thought I'd grab them while I found them. Because if you don't grab something right away at Goodwill, then you're probably not going to be able to find it again. <laughs> okay. That's it for the baby items I got from Goodwill from the outlet. But I thought maybe I'd show you just the three other items that I bought for myself or that maybe I'll try to resell. And the first item is this Ever Eve vest. It is just the softest thing. It, I just think it's so cute. I'm not sure if it's quite my style, but I looked it up online and it looked pretty pricey, so I thought I'd grab it. And if I don't end up wearing it, then I'll try to sell it. I also got just this basic old navy top. I really have been into tops that have the um, the thumb hole on it. So this will I'll cycle out something else in my closet um, to put that in. And my major um, win at the outlet was these Antonio Milani shoes. And the major win for me on these was that they were in two separate bins. They were probably about five rows away from each other. But I saw the one in my size and was like, oh, that'd be really cute for work. And so kept it with me. And just as I was about to leave, I found the other one. So really happy about those. We'll disinfect them and then get to wear them. I just want to share one more item I recently thrifted at many hands thrift which is another local thrift store it's just the normal thrift store um format not like the outlet where you're digging through bins but the they have this bag of magnetic baby proof locks for a dollar and i know my cousin when i was going through my registry said that this was something i didn't have on there that i would want and that could be a little pricey so when I saw these at the thrift store and this package is still even new and they just threw in some extras, I was really happy to find those. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and write again, please subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment of what you thought my best thrift haul find today was and what your favorite thrift haul find has been. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye!